Hello, welcome to episode two five, Mo- five, Moscow TDB. Five, uh, five, oh, s- five, oh eight. Five, oh eight. Yes. We will defeat the Americans at chess <laughs> again. Yeah. I don't even know what we're parroting at this point. <laughs> Kasparov. Um, okay, <laughs> here we go. We got some Ewu brick. Look at that. That's so stunning. Just hold on to that. Yeah. We will not be brewing all of this, I assume. No, I'm going to put this. <laughs> All this in here, get right into it. So this is a tea encounter. Uh, you know, I had assumed this was Jun So Long, but I actually don't know. It, it says tea encounter Wang Yong. So I will add the correct uh, mm. brand there, uh, just in case it is just a tea encounter production. But cool. I had assumed it was a Jun So Long. Who we have brought a couple of their teas on in the past. Nice. Um, yeah. So Yang Yiwu. Yeah. One years old. Should be interesting to try. Looks great. Quite green still. Definitely gonna rinse this. Or Denny, is there any scenario where you would drink a rin- rinse other than for uh, only rinse? <laughs> Not suitable for work contact. Probably like white tea. Okay. But it depends on the tea too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So not not all white, tea, white teas at all. Okay. Yeah, it really does depend on how yeah. it, how it sort of looks after I have rinsed it. Get all of that in there. Oh yeah. Okay. Smells great. It's very high noted, very fragrant. Yeah, um, quite not, green. Not unexpected at all. Um, we will see uh, where we kind of classify this as Iwu teas to enjoy now. Um, okay. So yeah. Very light color. Yeah. So, things look normal so far. And these, uh, you know, I don't know if we've asked this question, although it feels like we would have. These young Iwu teas, mm-hmm. uh, when you're designing a lineup, like, where do you think they would fit, just generally speaking? Obviously, we haven't even had this. Yeah, today. that's a good question, actually. Um, probably early on, but not too early on. Okay. Some of them can have a little enough of the earthiness going on that sure. you want to make sure that you're not losing other flavors in that profile. So, like, if you were placing the last tea we had, would you put this tea after it? I think just, so. Okay. Yeah. Makes I, sense. I think so. Just because it's a little stronger, yeah. potentially. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Nice. It's like good sweetness and complexity already. Yeah. Yeah. But you can tell it has a bit more of the deeper notes and the earthy earthiness a little bit comparatively. Mm, nice sweetness. Mm. It's getting started. Yeah, it is. Still fairly light. Um I can tell that there's a little bit of oomph on this, too. This is d- distinctly poor. This is not one of those poors that's going to trick you. Right. Uh, just because it's so soft, so. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely you can tell that it is a pu'er. Um, it doesn't have a mouth pucker, but just nice, strong residual flavor. In my Agreed, mouth. yeah. Check that out. Leaves looking really quite green still. And they have a bit more, unlike like a really freshly, uh, I was about to say minted green tea. <laughs> um, these the color of the green is a bit more faded from um, the fermentation, so yeah, not as bright. But you can still tell it's just really quite green. Would you say it's like kind of an olive green? Yeah, actually, that's yeah. a great way to describe it. Um, yeah. So, cheers. Cheerio. Yeah, it's nice. uh, kind of similar to the last one, just a little stronger, I'd say. Yeah, I'm going to push this a little bit. And I used all of the um, end of the material there. We had one big um, chunk of a cake and then all the loose tea. So this is going to get into stronger steepings more quickly. Yeah. And it will die off a little bit more quickly, too. So for you folks who are brewing at home, just notice that the actual material you're using, right. you're using the end of a bag, you might want to use less or really make sure to keep the steepings short. Right. I'm going to push this with some super hot water here, but flash steep it. Yeah. And I mean, and those are just kind of like the skills that you'll probably naturally pick up if you just pay attention yeah. to the tea you're brewing yeah, and stuff. Yeah, totally. It's like, not to brag, but this is 508, so we've done this quite a few times yeah. at this point. So, 100%. Um, yeah. I've seen a couple of people recommend our channel just be like, just look at what these guys that have done this a ah. bazillion times. Yeah, and yeah. And Makes how sense. Tea. Yeah. And you'll figure it out too. I mean, it's, it is, yeah. the feedback is straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like not. we're like here concentrating super hard on, on it. It doesn't look like we're like working on something on the toilet or anything while we're brewing tea. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Not that, that there's anything wrong with that. If there's like a, a real poo DB. Uh... <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I mean. Have we never made that joke before? I don't know if we actually ever have made that joke. It's such an obvious joke. <laughs> it's such an obvious joke. I mean, our memory is probably not as good as it was. Right. So we probably have, yeah. but I, I don't remember it. So, you know. Cheers to losing your memory from having children. Cheerio. Cheerio. Mm. It's good, but it's more bitter. I feel like yeah. the first couple teas sips. I don't think there's a mom test tea, but I do think it's one that uh, maybe you could sneak the first two by your mom. This one, I don't think so. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm not sure that this is meant to be aged for a lot longer, um, but I can imagine aging a little bit of that bitterness out. Yeah, because um, it's it's not abrasive, but um, it's like a strange middle ground. Yeah. Mm. I do feel like it's a little more bitter than average as far as like the I agree. teas. Yeah. yeah, I definitely agree, which is why it's a little confusing. Because yeah. some of these teas can be really, really fresh, crisp, very, very sweet. This one's sweet, but not quite as sweet as typical. Um, and then the other ones like we had maybe three, four episodes ago. Yeah. It's like, dang, this thing needs to, to age out. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like usually these iwus that we brought on the show kind of squarely fit in those two categories. This sure. one's a little bit of a, of a bender in that way. Tweener, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm using a little bit, the water's cooled off a little bit. I'm going to let this hang out for a little bit longer this time. Still pretty hot water. Um, I'm, I don't think it's a complaint, but I think uh, the one thing that I would hope for with this tea is maybe a little bit of a higher elevated high notes. I'm not quite getting that as much. Yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's like I'd almost guess that this tea is like two years old or three years old rather than just a year old. Yeah. Just because it, it doesn't have that kind of full bouquet of upper notes. Yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, we'd expect those notes to go away at some point anyways, right. but it is interesting. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, definitely an earthier. Mm. It smells great though. You will. Yeah. It's still quite sweet, just to be clear, especially yeah. for a young tea like this. Cheers. Cheers. Do you feel like these iwus are good entry teas to people, or do you think they're mm -hmm. more like something where it's like some people are just going to naturally <clears throat> like them, uh, yeah. or and some people won't? Mm -hmm. uh, like if you like really bold flavors, these are not necessarily going to supply right. that. Right. I wonder because it's like raw puer is not really an entry tea. True. So it's True. like if you're going to get into that category, it's a rabbit hole tea. Yeah. yeah. Like so, this is like a good entry to raw puer, sure. To young raw, because it's much more approachable. Sure. And you can be like, oh wow, this is really different than like clap, like traditional yeah, young you, raw. You can try it versus right. other ones, and you kind of have that nice contrast. But I feel like if you're going into the raw puer category, you're probably somewhat invested. Yeah, you're probably a little bit of a weirdo. Anyways. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, is this a yeah, I think that there are definitely some ewes that we brought on the show that I couldn't name right now. Um, <laughs> you can go through the archive and look. That are just like mega crazy sweet. Just like... Pound cake, sweet. I feel like. Yeah, pound cake. It's a great example. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have plenty more recently too. Um, and just those ones are so easy to drink. Like I yeah. feel like those ones of the raw category probably sure. would be new yeah. friendly. Like this one's low on kind of like those sugar cane sweetnesses. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a little bit less approachable. Yeah. I think if you weren't familiar with this category, this would not be the most accurate representation of what you're going to typically see sure. from these yeah, yeah. EBTs. Yeah. Yeah. Push this one again. Quite a bit of leaf at this point. I wonder if I... Oh. It doesn't this, look like you overdid it. No, I don't think so. Um, it doesn't taste too strong. There's a little bit of a bitterness there. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this ages out. I feel like three years from now, this tea is going to be perfect and ready. And I wonder if losing a little bit of the base notes on this might enhance the opportunity to taste a bit of the upper register. Sure. Um, hard yeah. to say. I'm not noticing it as much as I would from other EWUs, I would say. Yeah. So, definitely some interesting material here. It's really yellow still. I yeah. Until it's quite young. Let's do one final look at the leaves So, here. real quickly, mom test, no. Ultra light, no. Definitely, yeah. Um, tea nerd, it's always interesting. I feel like most EWs are, are interesting in tea nerds. I mean, yeah. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do all EW teas for right. a tea session, but uh, although that could be interesting, too. I would say this is not what I would recommend for your first EW tea. Yeah, um, and sure. I, and Teen Counter is going to have plenty of EWs for you to try out um, that will be delicious. 
Um, this one just has a bit, it's just a bit too, not too, it's like genre bending slightly, you know? It's more of like a, a mixtape than it is like a, an EP. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Sweetness is coming. It's still quite bitter. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. It's nice. It's different. Yeah. Um, you know, this isn't, it's not that this is a bad tea. It's just that what I look for when I'm drinking teas like this is yeah. not what this is. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, um, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I, the bitterness for me is definitely unexpected. Yeah. Uh, that level. And I expected a little more of those sugar cane notes. Not that I mind this at all, but I mean, I kind of agree with what you're saying. It's like, it's it's uh it has a lot of evil characteristics, but it also has some characteristics that I wouldn't necessarily associate directly with. Yeah, you. yeah. I think this would be great to age for another, like I said, two or three years. See yeah. what it tastes like then. I don't think it's so intense and strong today that you're looking at ten years minimum or it's, something like it's that. It's perfectly drinkable yeah, now. I totally yeah. agree. Um, Teen Counter in general, incredibly good stuff. Check them out, teencounter.com, I think, maybe. <clears throat> Google them. Um, going to be hard to find a tea that you're going to miss on that one uh, there. Yeah. And they do have a lot of yuus that would be good intro yuus, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so check them out. Subscribe if you like the stuff. Do all the things if you like all doing all the things. Comment if you want to comment on something about how your day's going, maybe. I don't know, whatever. Keep it chill. Keep it chill, you know. We chill. We chill. We do, we do chill things here on TDB. Shout out to the cat. Send your cat a big emoji. A big one of those like animated emojis that I'm always like, how do you even do this? And then they're like, <laughs> I have an iPhone or whatever. Yeah, you're like, I'm too old. I cry, <laughs> cry in Android. Um, cool. Subscribe, deal the stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs>